Welcome to week one, lecture four. In lecture three, we covered health specific fitness acute training variable application. In lecture four, now we will introduce sport specific fitness acute fitness training variables application. Objective of lecture four is to recall sport specific fitness variables first and then to identify acute training variables with respect to sport specific fitness variable. The outcome of this lecture is you should able to demonstrate how you connect acute training variables to respect to sport specific fitness variables. It means that how do you write intensity for power? How do you write intensity for speed? How do you write intensity for conditioning? And how do you express the volume of each and every sport specific fitness variable? So you should able to demonstrate these skills at the end of this lecture. Let's start by recollecting what are sport specific fitness variables, which include a cardio fitness, a power fitness, speed fitness, agility and quickness fitness, conditioning fitness, and coordination and balance fitness. Now let's start one by one. How do you connect acute training variables to each and every fitness variable so that you can explain, describe, and do more application using acute training fitness variable. Frequency is expressed in a similar way that you did for health specific fitness variable of cardio fitness improvement. The difference is in intensity. Do you use the similar intensity expression that you use for health specific fitness variable with respect to cardio fitness? One major difference is you write intensity as percent HRR at blood lactate threshold 1 or percent HRR in between blood lactate threshold 1 and 2 or percent HRR at greater than blood lactate threshold 2. Now this kind of training is used when your aim is to improve your cardio fitness to prepare for sporting events. Now BLT stands for blood lactate threshold. Now apart from expressing cardio fitness using Connecting the heartbeat with blood lactate threshold, another difference of writing intensity for cardio fitness is much more higher level of percent HR or percent HR max. Time is written in a similar way as you write for health specific fitness cardio improvement. Now let's see how do you write type for sport specific cardio improvement. Remember type means the different type of stimulation you have to give in order to improve the cardio fitness. With respect to cardio fitness, these are long distance, slow speed, long HIIT, short HIIT and additional type of training called as tempo training. Expressed in the last, TT stands for tempo training. Now this type of training is specifically used if your aim is to improve your cardio fitness to prepared for a sporting events. Volume is again expressed in a similar way to that of health specific fitness cardio, cardio improvement. That is sets into duration or sets into distance. Progression can be written in a similar way where you increase the volume or the distance and the intensity. Now let's start with the next sport specific fitness variable power which is also termed as explosive strength or rate of force development frequency is written in the same way as that of the other sport specific and health specific fitness variable three power session per week or three power se or two power session per week here intensity is expressed as velocity of movement for example you perform an exercise, a drill, with greater than 1.5 meter per second velocity of movement. This kind of movement is required to improve something called a starting strength. Another way to express intensity for power is box height. Now what are the different types of stimulation you can give to improve the power? They are starting strength, speed strength, strength speed and max strength. 
these are the different expressions of power where starting strength represent moving at the highest possible movement velocity of movement which is greater than 1.5 meter per second below that is speed strength where you move the move, you move the external load with a velocity in between 1 to 1.5 meter per second and with moderate to light load more towards the lighter load above that is strength speed which is reflected by or represented by the movement velocity in between 0.5 to 1 meter per second and then at the last max strength which is represented with a movement velocity in between 0.17 to 0.5 meter per second so whenever you want to improve or give stimulation in order to improve your power fitness variable you can choose among these types of power development volume is written as sets into repetition here with respect to power the more important is the repetitions and in that more important is your ability to maintain the desired velocities of the movement for respect to power development section for that reason the repetition is the major part of expression for volume in power development progression can be in term of first you increase the volume that is number of sets then you increase the volume with respect to repetition initially you maintain less repetition if you want to improve power and gradually you increase the number of repetition then you focus on increasing the velocity of movement then you focus on increasing the box height and at the last you focus when all this has been achieved you focus by moving fast with greater load let's see how you write fidt vp for speed frequency would be again same three speed session or two speed session per week here intensity is written as percent of max speed intensity is written as percent max speed for example i took 3 seconds to cover 20 meter distance now this 3 seconds is my 100% now you may prescribe to do a speed session with 80% of your max speed in this example 80% of 3 seconds would be 3.6 seconds so i would be doing the session at much more lower intensity so obviously i am going to take more time to cover 20 meters and that is the reason why whenever you plan a speed session the intensity is always close to 100% or greater than 100% that's the only way you can stimulate your speed development the time is mentioned as 10 minutes per session or 20 minutes per session now type of speed includes acceleration speed or max speed you write speed volume as number of sets or sets into repetition with respect to progression for speed development you have to first increase the volume that is sets or sets and repetition that is number of drills you want to sprint or accelerate followed by that you increase the distance of your sprint and then you increase the intensity with respect to agility and quickness intensity can be again expressed in similar way for that of the speed percent of max speed intensity is written as percent max speed the difference is here the movement is not in a straight line you move in multiple direction as mentioned in the definition agility is your ability to move as fast as possible but which include you first accelerating you deaccelerating you change the direction and then you reaccelerate so though it is a speed 
but it is much more complex and intense variation of speed which demands multiple types of speed development. Time for agility and quickness is expressed as 10 minutes per session or 5 minutes per session. Different ways where you can give stimulation for agility and quickness developments are use of ladders, cones, steps, general ag agility and sport specific agility or reactive agility. Volume can be written as sets into rips into distance. For an example, you plan a 10 meter agility drills. You aim to perform it five times and this includes one set for one drill and then you perform another drills second exercise and you perform it for five repetition covering 10 meters so the total volume for the given session would be 100 meters progression for improving agility and quickness starts by first you increasing the volume either by number of sets either by repetition or either by distance then you try to improve give the progression by increasing the distance and finally when you have a capacity to perform agility session with a higher volume you then increase the intensity now let's see how you can write FITVP for conditioning two sessions of conditioning per week or three sessions of conditioning per week intensity can be written as percent of HRR percent of VIFT where V stands for velocity and IFT stands for intermediate fitness training percent of maximal aerobic speed so these are the different type of intensity you can use whenever you are prescribing a conditioning program or conditioning drills the duration of a condition drill can be a 10 minute session or 20 minute session when it comes to the types of conditioning, there are total six types of conditioning. Type 1 is where you emphasize on developing aerobic system. Type 2, you develop aerobic system but with more emphasis of developing neuromuscular system. Type 3, you develop aerobic system but with a greater emphasis on developing anaerobic system. Type 4, you develop aerobic system with much more greater emphasis on neuromuscular system as well as anaerobic system. Type 5, you do not focus on improving aerobic system but you focus on improving neuromuscular system and anaerobic system. And type 6, you aim to develop only neuromuscular system. So these are the different types of conditioning which you try to improve in an overall condition phase and how do you give the stimulation to all these six types of uh, conditioning it is either by giving a long HIT, a short HIT, small sided games, a sprint interval or repeated sprint intervals. So these are the different variations of stimulation you can use to improve either type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4 or type 5 or type 6 type of conditioning. Volume can be written as sets multiplied by rips multiplied by distance or duration. It is similar to that of the cardio fitness. The only difference is the distance is much more smaller because this conditioning is not just done in a linear direction but it can also be done in a multiple direction. And conditioning is something of variable which is required if your athletes want to prepare for any sporting activity. Progression for conditioning can be given by first increasing the volume, then by increasing the distance and finally by increasing the intensity. Let's give me an example how I work to improve my sport specific fitness variables. This is where I use acute training variables FITTVB to describe my sport specific fitness workouts. To start with power development, 
I train power two times a week. I use starting strength as an intensity for both the sessions. I try to maintain the intensity of greater than 1.5 meter per seconds. The total duration of my workout or power session is 15 minutes. I do every drill for three sets with a maximum of four repetition with an aim to maintaining 1.5 meter per second. The progression I'm going to give is by increasing the greater box height. This is how FITT VP helps you to describe your weekly routine. Going with the next session, speed. I train two times a week to develop my speed. Now what type of speed I'm trying to improve? It is the acceleration speed. At what intensity I'm trying to improve? 80% of my max speed. So how am I giving stimulation? For at this level, let me mention that my capacity of doing a speed drills is less. For that reason, I've maintained a lower intensity and have a greater volume. That is, I'm going five sets of 15 meters. So here I'm trying to give progression by greater sets and trying to build my work capacity to perform a speed drill sessions. Now conditioning. Again, I train two times a week. What type of conditioning I'm trying to improve? Type four. What type of stimulation I'm giving? Repeated sprint interval. The total session, the total duration of my uh, conditioning session is 10 minutes. How am I doing it? What is the volume? I'm doing three sets of 30 meter sprint with 10 meter flying. And how am I giving the stimulation? By giving, sorry, how am I giving the progression? By giving the variation. The variation, I mean variation in type of the conditioning stimulation. So one session I may do repeated sprint interval. Another session I will do sprint interval. So in summary, Every sport specific fitness variable has a unique way of writing intensity, writing type, volume and progression. And one should know how to write intensity volume for every sport specific fitness variable, which will help them to differentiate between each drill session, helps to describe their workout routine and keep a track on whether they are actually hitting their new level of fitness. Thank you.